Hello. Sean Mangus here. Um, there was um, a little bit ago, some time where I had dedicated uh, a daily practice on my life. Hi there. And um, I'm going to come back to that. Somehow I um, got away from it. And I think with the pandemic and everything, my schedule. Uh, got a little off too. So um, I hope you can join me. Um, I found that it might have been a little too difficult to schedule a specific time. So what I'm going to try to do is do these videos, perhaps get them posted on YouTube and IGTV. So if you go into my stories, you'll be able to see my classes. Okay. And something that I started getting into a little bit more as um, more time that I had was our crystals. And um, and uh, oh, here we go. So uh, this right here is a desert rose. It is just beautiful right and so what I want you to say uh, for this affirmation is I am grounded and centered and I embrace everything that life has to offer me so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold on to the stone and you can carry the stone around with you later on like in your pocket or um, you know you can sleep with, I mean, it doesn't, you, you can place it anywhere you want to, or you can just make sure that you cleanse it by saging it um, or using the crystal to um, cleanse the stone. Um, but again, what we're gonna continue uh, to say is, I am grounded, I am grounded and center, and I embrace everything life has to offer me okay so get really comfortable in an easy seated position sit up really nice and tall take a deep breath in through the nose i am grounded and centered and i embrace everything that life has to offer me I'm looking out in my backyard and I see all the beautiful colors. I am grounded, I am centered, and I embrace all that life has to offer me. stone on your third eye. Take a deep breath in through the nose. I am grounded, I am centered, and I embrace all that life has to offer me. Repeat that with me. Take a deep breath in. I am grounded, I am centered, and I embrace all that life has to offer me. I am centered and I embrace all that life has to offer me. Last time. I am grounded, I am centered, and I embrace all that life has to offer me. Take your stone down to your heart and envision the gratitude. Feel the gratitude you have for this moment. 
This is all we have is this present moment. Be grateful. Focus on how you can make this affirmation possible. What is it that's keeping you away from your goals? What's got you distracted? Focus on your intention. When you move through this practice, this will, by the way, be a level one practice. Although you two and threeers know what to do if you need a little more heat, okay? So take it to the level that you feel comfortable. Lower your head, flutter your eyes open. yoga mat so as you can see it's terribly distressed whenever you're ready let me you know let me just tilt it back just a little bit more might that be a little bit better okay go ahead and just bring your hands to heart center let me see here how about either okay sorry guys <laughs> I think this is part of the problem last summer <laughs> me getting a good all right here we go so whenever you're ready go ahead and just take your hands to heart center inhale reach up high exhale come on down <sighs> inhale fly back exhale step to the back and lower Belly is all the way to the ground. Inhale, lift the chest up, feet planted down to the ground, keep a bend of the elbows, hips are connected, allow the belly to touch and the chest. Curl the toes under, push back, downward dog. You can take a deep bend of the knees. This is your first dog. So take your time with those hamstrings. It feels good to bend the knees and then straighten out and push through the heels, that's great. Whenever you're ready, look between the hands, step forward, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step to the back and lower. Nice and slow. Inhale, lift through the chest. Exhale, lower down. Curl the toes under, push back. Down and up. Take a deep breath right here. Push through those heels. Tailbone is up high in the sky. You want to get the length in the spine. One more breath. As you exhale, step forward. Try to alternate your feet. Flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, hands to heart center. Again, and swan dive forward, stretch those arms out, inhale, flat back, 
Exhale, step to the back and lower. Inhale, chest rises. Elbows bent, look up towards the ceiling. Come on down. Down, down. Catch your breath. Push through those heels. Create a little warmth by breathing. You can use the Ujjayi breath. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and step forward. Inhale, flat back. We have two more, just like this. Inhale, A. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands to heart center. Come on, one more time. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, lift through. You can create a little more heat by jumping back if you wish, lower down. Inhale, lift through the chest. Exhale, come on. Curl the toes under, push back. Down, down. Last time. Step forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands to heart center. Again. Come up to Samasiti. Okay. From here, we're going to go into our B's. Okay. We're going to pick up a little bit more heat here. So go ahead and just start in a nice standing position. Inhale, reach up high. And sit back into your chair pose. Five breaths, exhale, stand up and fold. Flat back, now jump back and lower halfway. So chaturanga is, we just lower halfway. Tuck the elbows in tight to the sides. Taps of the feet to the earth. Lift up and exhale. Push it back. Down dog. Catch your breath. Now I like to give my leg a little stretch so you can reach up high before you step through the midline. Pivot the back leg and reach up for warrior one. Open the knees, square the hips, look straight forward, touch down. Take the leg back behind you. You can leave it elevated if you wish or place it down. Hinge forward, halfway, taps of the feet to the earth. Come on back. Catch your breath. you how to work out smarter, not harder. How to use your breath to stimulate and to balance, right? And of course, that breath, our life force, is what controls everything, right? We have this power. Come on down, step back behind you, hinge forward to control it if we wish to. Tops of the feet to the earth. Exhale, push it back. Catch your breath. Just don't talk about it. Three, four, five. Take a nice deep bend. Hop forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Take a deep bend to the knees. Reach out for chair pose. Five, four, three, two, one. Samasiti. <sighs> Come on back. Five, four, three, two, touch 
push down. Flat back. Jump on back. Lower. Lift. And down dog. Catch your breath. Right leg high. Step it through the midline. Pivot the back leg. And reach up. Warrior one. Touch down. Step back behind you. Hinge forward. We're going to kind of get that heart rate up a little bit. Come on up. And back. Left leg high. Step it through. Pivot. Reach. Touch down. Step back. Hinge forward. Halfway. Taps to the feet to the earth. Come on back. Take a deep bend in the knees, hop forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Reach, come on. Think of your affirmation, all right? If you're getting a little tired, getting a little warm. Think of your intention as you push through. Let's move a little faster. Step forward, pivot the leg, reach up. Touch down. Step back behind you, hinge forward, halfway. Tops of the feet to the earth. Come on back. Left leg high. Step it through, pivot, reach. Touch down. Step back, hinge. Exhale. Inhale. Link that breath. Now catch it for five, four, three, two, one. Take a deep bend in the knees, hop forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Come on. Hands to heart center. Sama Sutihi. <laughs> did we forget a chair? I think we did. No one's watching. Come on. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Flat back. <laughs> Exhale. Jump to the back. And lower. Taps of the feet to the earth. Come on back. Down dog. Right leg high. Step it through, pivot, reach up, come on down. Step back behind you, hinge forward, lower. I feel the heat, I can feel the heat. Left leg high, step it through, pivot, reach. Tops of the feet, <laughs> hands come down first, and then hinge forward, and then lower, and then tops of the feet. I'm getting way ahead of myself. Catch your breath. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a deep bend in the knees, hop forward. How about this? Last time, fold. Take a deep bend in the knees. No more cheating. Five. Four, three, two, Sama Suti. Just enjoy how you feel right now. All right, we're gonna up that one more notch. Last time round, I want you to give me everything you have. Come on up. Exhale, come on down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step or jump to the back and lower. Come on, lift. Push it back. Right leg high. Step it through. Pivot, reach. Touch down. 
step back behind you. Hinge forward, lower as you exhale. Hello, hello. Inhale, push it back, left leg high. Step it through. Switch that back leg, 45 degree angle. Come on down. Open everything up. Shift it back, hinge forward, lower. Tops of the feet to the earth. Come on back. Catch your breath. Even if you're not breathing hard, do it on purpose. Take long, deep breaths. Feel the heat, the stimulation through your body. All right, let's take a deep bend in the knees. Hop forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, take a deep bend in the knees. Come on up. Come up to your tiptoes, maybe. Have fun, right? And Nice. All right, take a moment to catch your breath. Grab a drink of water. And we're gonna come into some standing balancing poses. Okay. Take your left foot down to the ground. Right one comes up. And we're just gonna come into tree pose, okay? So you're gonna start here, shin, bypass the knee, and do whatever feels good. So this is your traditional tree pose, right? And we're just gonna go ahead and release your fingers back behind your back. You don't wanna waste any time. Roll the shoulders out, open up the chest. Take your hands down below your bum as you look up towards the ceiling. Challenging your balance. Rise and release. Okay, now let's do this in a different variation. Let's take this leg and just bring it up over the top of the thigh. So what you're gonna do to get there is you want to grab the outside of this foot and just kind of Lift so that the foot, the top of the foot, is facing outward or upward. Okay, and then you're gonna take your time. You're gonna gradually push that knee down. Maybe you'll be able to release your hands. If you can, tie them behind your back. Interlace the fingers. Roll the shoulders open. And this time, perhaps, you can begin hinge forward, right? Take your time. Take your time. Release the hands. Take a deep bend to the knee. So I'm just going to assist myself with some of the weight, okay? So listen to your body. Slowly rise. Take your hands back up to heart center. We're just gonna grab it with the right hand. Right hand, right foot. Interlace your fingers around your big toe. And let's begin to extend the leg out. Straining the leg. Slowly 
If you need to keep a bend in the knee, that's okay. And now, let's try to extend it outward. How you doing? Bring it back in. And then back down. Okay, let's try that with the other side. Spread your toes nice and wide on your standing foot. That's all you have to balance, right? So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift. Come to your ankle. <laughs> come to your ankle, come to your shin. You can always use a chair if you need to. And come on up. This is like, Truly the most beautiful time of the year. Even though I'm not a big fan of it getting colder, it's just amazing to look out. Now begin to slowly look up. And release. You really gotta have a lot of trust in your intuition when you do that. So just be kind to yourself if you fall out a few times. We're gonna take this top leg and just do your best. Every side is gonna be a little bit better. Be cognizant of your challenges or any restrictions. If you can, get this leg in a good position. Interlace your fingers back behind you. Roll the shoulders open and look up towards the ceiling. I'm still working on this knee a little bit, so I'm gonna be a little softer to it. <sighs> because when I wasn't, so I got into this mess in the first place. Listen to your body. Breathe into the tension or the pain, as long as you know yourself, as long as the pain isn't too much. You have to work through some of it. Whenever you're ready, let's go ahead and begin to fold forward now with your arms either tied behind your back or just take a nice, slow <laughs> way down. is the proper position of this pose. Your heel actually once needs to go uh, in the center of your body. Let's come back out. Take your hands to heart center and reaffirm your intention. Notice how you feel. I am centered and grounded. I embrace all that life has to offer. Centered, grounded, 
and I embrace all that life has to offer me. I am centered, grounded, and I embrace all that life has to offer me. <sighs> How are you guys doing? Okay, let's just do a couple more stretches here and then we're gonna get you down onto the ground, okay? So I have a challenge that I'm working on and I accidentally messed it up. So because of that, we're gonna go into half moon pose, right? And if you wanna jump on this challenge with me, please do, I'll post it in my stories. So let's go ahead and just, um, let's go ahead and take the, the right foot down to the ground, right? And push off with the left one. So you're just gonna kind of touch down to the ground. Now, if the ground's too low for you, you can always use a mat, or sorry, a block. And you're gonna lift the back leg up, right? So, and the left arm comes up high. Now we're gonna drop the right arm. I'm sorry, we're gonna drop the left arm down to the ground. And you're gonna reach up with, <laughs> with the right. And perhaps grab the opposite foot. And give it a twist. Oh. And release. Okay. Come in a forward fold. Inhale, reach up high. to heart center. Let's try the other side. So take your left foot forward, right? You're just gonna push off with the back leg. So you're gonna come down wherever you're gonna touch. And then you are going to reach up. So right arm comes up, right leg comes up. Find your balance. Keep lifting, engage the core, drop the right hand down to the ground, and start twisting. So the torso now comes square to your mat. And just keep elevating. <laughs> it's, a, it's a difficult one. With balance. Grab a hold of the opposite foot. <sighs> Maybe this is a bad angle. Is this a better angle? <sighs> Whew. I'm turning into a sweaty mess over here. Okay, here we go. So basically, your fingertips are on the ground and your back leg is straight out. And this leg is reaching over. <laughs> this is so hard. <sighs> oh. Bring it back down. Forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, reach up high. Hands to heart center. All right, let's come to one of my favorite ways to give the spine some length. <sighs> come into a startle position. Sit up nice and tall. Take the arms out wide. Begin to lower down. Grab onto the toes. Right. 
Now, this is so important. Keep lengthening through the spine as you lower the head. So you don't wanna just round out like that, okay? Although you will eventually. But for the next few seconds, I want you to lengthen. I want you to get that space in your back. And if this is it, just stay right here. If you need a little more, come on down. Keep it straight. Now, to make this pose easier, you can take a bend in the knees, okay? To make it a little harder, straighten out the knees. If your head touches the floor, and you wish to come into a headstand, Try to engage the core so that you lift the legs up with just the core. It's your core strength. That's going to help you. One of the best ways for me to find my center or to see things different visually to hang upside down. Create a triangle with your hands and your head. And you can come out of it whenever you wish. Take your hands back behind you. Roll the shoulders open. Hands come back into flat back and then perhaps to your hips. As you rise, how you feel? Yeah? Hey. So much for my shower this morning, right? My half time. I'm meant to do a slow flow because I have clients today. I have to stop a little early and jump back in there. Breath, catch your water. As we sit here, settle into your space, right? You can even take, if you want to, you can take your crystal today. Mine was a desert rose, which is why, you know, we keep saying, I am centered, I am grounded. And I accept all that life has to offer me. I'm centered, I am grounded, and I accept all that life has to offer me. Keep it right there on your third eye. I am centered, I am grounded, and I accept all that life has to offer me. Take it to your heart. I am centered. I am grounded and I accept all that life has to offer me. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you for allowing me to see, feel, hear, sense, smell. As these are all gifts that I do not take for granted. Teach me how to stay focused as I come to the mat, as I come to my practice.
pretty it is. Isn't that just gorgeous? to adjust yourself, you can always um, get a block if you need to, to lift um, your hips up because you definitely want them to rotate forward, okay? So nothing is gonna happen unless you get that rotation forward, okay? Because if your hips are back here, you're just like working against yourself. It's all within the hips. And you can go ahead and grab your feet if you wish and come on down. This, I think my mat is starting to <laughs> fall apart on me. Get to keep breathing. Exhale the breath. Lower yourself. So something I like to do is I'll use blocks or I'll use pillows. If you're at home, stack your pillows up right here. Such a great way just to hang out read a book if you wish to. I tend not to ever read when I do yoga. Um, probably probably get a lot more reading done if I did, but um, I really take my practice to get in touch with my body, to get in touch with my thoughts, to practice acknowledging a thought and letting it go instead of obsessing over it. To trust. I shared some shared some things about trust in my story and trust is trust is one of the most important things um, it's one of the things that I value the most about people is their integrity and how do you know you know how do you know who you can trust and who you can't and what I have done most of my life and you know when I veer away from it, it's when I'm angry or irritated. So I have to be honest with you, it's not like, it's not like when the trust is broken, it's easy for me, right? It's not like you, you don't go, okay, how many more times is that gonna happen? Um, and what I've come to the conclusion for myself, what makes me feel better, is the fact that I just keep doing it um, over and over and over again until I feel, um, you know, I feel like that relationship or that situation um, no longer should be had. Does that make sense? So, um, basically what I'm saying is I, I think a lot of times I just let whatever happened happen because if you're questioning trust, everybody all the time. It's just a very, it's a very toxic headspace to be in. And, you know, when you feel like you trust a lot of people, I think you spill that energy out into the world. And so perhaps a little more loyalty and a little more integrity will come attract what we are sometimes not all the time okay are you still in this position this is why I'm talking come on down I want to see that belly down to the ground now the only way this happens for me truly is I, I hold this position for a longer period of time a lot of times when I do my classes I don't give the time that is needed um, so this is always a great asana I tell people to do in front of the TV you know, between commercials, just take your time. Okay, this is 
also going to help you get into your splits. So a lot of yoga is about trusting the process, right? To put a lot of work in. And I think by practicing yoga, you practice trusting the process. You realize that if you continue to show up, all you have to do is show up. All you have to do is show up to have a better, you know, to have better health, to um, achieve your goals, to do your job. All you have to do is show up. That's the first part. A lot of times people skip that part. You can't go any further, right? Go ahead and push yourself up. Now, that was a really long hold. So if you need a little help getting those legs back together, just take your time, pull them in, okay? And let's go ahead and just face each other for the moment. Bring the soles of the feet together. Inhale as you sit up nice and tall. Interlace the fingers in front of your toes. Lift up a little higher through the spine. Start to open up the, the knees, pushing them back down. And then as you exhale, begin to fold in. Don't forget about that breath. That's the most important part. If you do nothing but breathe, you've done yoga. Take your hand underneath your shin the other hand underneath your shin. Perhaps interlace your fingers in the front. You know something else that's really nice is interlacing your toes. <laughs> I have to do, if you interlace your toes, I, my toes need a little more work because they're like little, they're like little nubs, but if you interlace your toes, it's like those toe separators you get. And it just feels so good. A lot of times our feet are neglected it's a lot harder to interlace these little boogers than you think it is, right? Oops, I gave myself a, I gave myself a selfie manicure this morning. That's why it looks like a five-year-old painted my right hand. <laughs> I'm truthfully a mess. My hair's halfway done. We're 48 hours into my dreadlocks and still not finished. So, I thought, why not? I'll sport the in-between process. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just glide the arm underneath again. Grab on those toes. Right, totally different sensation. Inhale, lift your spine. Exhale, come on. Down. So you should feel a nice long stretch in the sacrum. As we age, our sacrum gets tighter and tighter and you know, it's just something that you're gonna have to work on. Um, a lot of times people will have sciatic problems. Uh, lower back pain and neck pain is just such a common ailment. And a lot of the stuff can be prevented by stretching and creating space and, you know, just inverting upside down. Slowly push yourself up. Unlace your feet. Great. And just for a tiny little bit of fun, I'm going to, um, hey, ooh, ah, the stretch is crazy. Um, so just for a tiny little bit of fun, I'm going to 
do a little demonstration. Somebody had asked about um, my crow pose yesterday. So it was a twisted crow pose. I'll break it down for you, you guys can practice it at home. Uh, crow was one of the first inversions I kind of learned how to do, I mean, besides handstand, you know, which I'm not good at, but um, I'm working on it, right? But crow pose was low to the ground. Um, it was a lot of arm strength, which helped me with my chaturangas. And it, um, you know, there's a lot of twisting and a lot of detox, which helped me with my breath. So I'm gonna go ahead and break it down for you guys. Um, I want you to go ahead and take your fingers and spread them really wide, okay? Really wide. Like, okay, right? This is all that's gonna hold this all up, okay? So, and just kind of get in touch with the earth, right? So something you can do, but you have to have the flexibility. The most important thing, actually, let's just do this while we're talking. Come on into Malasana, okay? Malasana is called the yogi squat. It is one of my favorite ways just to hang out anymore. And, and you remember when you were a kid and you would just kind of like sit like this for hours at a time? Well, try that, okay? When you get tired, just sit like this for hours at a time. Why is it so great? And that tailbone, Tailbone comes down as low as you can go, okay? So it's really great for the legs, the hips, and also the spine. Now, you, you can use those elbows a little bit, right? Take your hands to your chest and really kind of get that separation. Spine, nice and tall, nice and long, okay? All right, so the most important thing of getting into the crow properly is flexibility, right? So we're gonna go ahead really kind of get low and deep into those hips. Take the hand down to the ground, okay? And now we're gonna, right where that knee is, that's about really where I kind of want to be. And I'm just gonna rest the inside, the cushiony part of my knee on top of my arm. So it's not actually the kneecap, okay? It shouldn't hurt you. But I want you to go ahead and just take, spread the fingertips nice and wide and rise up. Now, did you see what I did with my toes? No, you can't because you can't see. So as I brought my hands down to the ground, I'm leaning forward, okay? And the way that I can get to lean forward, the easiest way, is to rise up on my toes, right? So here's the first place that I tell people, keep your toes connected. Doesn't matter if they're, if they're connected. You need to find proper alignment, okay? My mat is literally falling apart. <laughs> on me. It was an eco-friendly mat that I left on the paddle board all summer long. It was not very smart of me. Okay, so again, here we go. Heels down on the ground. Rock it up, okay? Rock it up. Now, the fatty part of my knee is resting on my tricep. What's going to keep that from sliding down? A bend in my elbow, right? So now, you can lift one leg. <laughs> And if things don't go right, you just start pulling around. Okay, so that can happen if you lean forward, but normally it doesn't. And if it does, don't be afraid. I used to be afraid of face planting. Hey, guess what? Just tip your head down a little bit. Don't leave your nose exposed. <laughs> You're not far from the ground, but lift up, take one foot off the ground, and then the other foot off the ground, and find your balance. Let me do that off to the side so you can see. down. Okay, so legs are up. Okay, from here we could shoot back in our flow. Okay, you can kind of work on your side crow. So for the side crow, again, flexibility is super important. Hands come down to the ground and you walk. So, so let's go to the right side. So we're literally gonna walk our feet over, right? And then you're still gonna follow the same, the same guidelines as before. Once you get twisted all the way around, you're gonna take your elbows and you're gonna tuck them into that leg, right? Okay, come around the other 
other side. Got to even you out. You're going to be breathing heavy with arm balances. And I think that's what's so fun about yoga is you can take your time, you can take your breath, okay? I used to think that I had to run. Oh my gosh. Oh, what? What is this? Jeez, this is crazy. I can't even believe I'm doing this. I should have pulled it back, maybe. So we're gonna come around to the side. So what I used to believe to be true was spending two hours at the gym, you know, one hour on the cardio. And then if I wasn't exhausted, I would try to mingle around the weights. And I never truthfully knew what I was doing. Some people would, you know, do hundreds of pounds and I would be, you know, mulling around 20. So your body weight, there's no discrepancy on that, okay? Your body weight is what you're gonna be able to do. And if you can't do it, then that's too much. Okay, so come on this way. There's always one side that's better than the other, right? Stop stalling, Michelle. And see what happens is if you don't walk it over far enough or have that flexibility far enough, you're just gonna slide right down. So let me try that one more time. And then we'll get you into a little butt pose position and Shavasana, okay? Let me know if you like this. I will continue to post regularly. <laughs> Wait, one more time. <laughs> Find the center of your mat. And as we come into boat pose, you can keep your feet onto the ground. You can lift them up slightly, or you can go full throttle. Thread the arms through the opening, interlace the fingers in front of your shins, come on back. <sighs> 